Okay, you've got some good, good cards, Virgos. Okay, so let me talk about this. So you can be single or you can, you know, be already coupled up. This is a card here about um, social dating, okay? So if you are single and you are socially dating, there is somebody that is really, really eyeing you. So Virgo and people, I feel like we have here a very, very good connection that you're making with another person. So we have here the Three of Cups, socially dating, meeting new people, branching out, looking at other options that are available for you on the dating front. We have the Ace of Cups, which is basically having somebody in your environment that is showing you a lot of attention, giving you a lot of affection, and they're very, very, I, I feel like they're very, very um, expressive about how they feel about you. They're going to want to, you know, be with you all the time. They're going to contact you heavily. And I feel like it's going to feel a little bit like, it's going to feel a little bit overwhelming, okay? And we have as well the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I'm feeling for singles, you definitely need to make yourself available. There is a very strong love connection that you will have with another person. And I'm feeling we have people from all signs of the Zodiac, okay? Like we, we have like an air sign here, Queen of Swords. We have possibly fire signs and water signs. And we have a strong fire sign here. So this is Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Um, singles, you have a barrage of options that are going to be available for you. And singles, I feel like, you know, I mentioned this with Scorpio too, but I feel like with Virgos, it's especially true as well. It's not often that you're single because you, t you guys tend to be in very long relationships. So whenever you're single, all of these people are kind of like coming out of the woodwork and just, you know, hounding you right because it's not often that you're single and so i feel like you have a lot of options some of you are single and dating like doing a lot of online dating meeting a lot of people doing a lot of meet and greet and keeping your options open and i do feel this is the month if you're doing that we have a very strong person that's going to be coming into the picture that is really gunning for you okay so let me talk about the past we have here the Ace of Swords and we have here the Queen of Coins, okay? So in the past, this is you being very, um, kind of like being the workaholic and um, pay spending a lot of your time at work, working overtime, worrying about your career. And, you know, um, it's like work and then going home, taking care of home responsibilities, pets, washing the, your clothes, doing the dishes. So I feel like it's just a very mundane type of energy where you're just, um, you're not really putting yourself out there and you're not really getting out of the house much. You have everything that you need at home. And so you're, you tend to be a little bit of a recluse and you tend to be a little bit of a homebody. And we also have, this is a situation where you start to break free. There are, this is the Ace of Swords here, and the Ace of Swords deals with heavy communication, and it deals with an energy where you're no longer succumbing to this place of safety. You're putting yourself out there, you're scoping territory, you're scoping out, you know, the competition, or you're even scoping out to see what the dating environment looks like, okay? So I do feel for many of you, no longer playing that homebody role, no longer feeling like, uh, I don't, I'm too lazy to get out. I feel like you're going to prioritize your love life and you're going to be scoping out just to see what's available for you. Some of you, I feel like, um, you are looking at apps. So for example, if you're doing some type of online dating, um, you're, you're like not putting your picture up, but you're looking at, so for example, you know, you're, you're on the dating app and I feel like your picture is blank, but you're looking to see what, what's available. So you, you might even, you know, be tempted to contact a few people, but I feel like your picture is not on there. So you're not like, you're not completely 100% in when it comes to dating. And if you're kind of on the fence, this is the month for you to stop you know, being on the fence about it and just dive right in because you have some suitors that are going to be coming into the picture. Okay. So crowning this reading is somebody that you are thinking about. So first of all, I have here the chariot and I have here the emperor. 
usually the crowning energy is somebody that we already um, have in our lives and we are already kind of like uh, crushing on or somebody that we're heavily thinking about for this month. So we have many suitors coming in. First of all, this is the card about, um, this is the card of Cancer. It's the major arcana card that represents the sign of Cancer. The chariot, um, this is somebody that I feel they might be far away from you. They might be a Cancer. They might be far away from you. And uh, they might be a transplant in the area that you're living in, okay? So I feel like they're going to be very different from you, either culturally, ethnically, linguistically. And I also feel there is a very strong attraction here where the, you know, they're a water sign, you're an earth sign. So the way you do things is not going to be very similar, but I do feel that it can work. And the energy, the infer, um, the energy exchange between the two of you seems like it, like it flows really well. And then we have here the emperor crowning this reading. This is somebody that is very, very intelligent, very educated. They, I feel like they, they work in some type of a consultancy role where they manage other people. Um, other people look up to them as kind of like the voice of authority. And I also feel this person has a lot of, um, they're really, really, really intelligent. And I feel Virgos, you are naturally attracted to intelligent people. So you have a person that is incredibly hardworking, is incredibly intelligent. They have a lot of potential. And this is somebody that you're thinking about, that you really like, that you're really digging, okay? I feel like it could be many, many signs because I feel that many of you are single and dating and you're interacting with a lot of people overall. But you have somebody that is really very smart in the picture. The foundation here, we have here the Ten of Wands as well as the Knight of Wands. So I feel like this is somebody that has left the picture, okay? The Knight of Wands is um, a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is somebody that, you know, they're very exciting, and there's, there might have been great chemistry between the two of you. Um, but they are like in and out of the picture, or they're constantly, constantly traveling back and forth. And it's hard to maintain a stable relationship with each other. This is somebody that still likes you. And I just feel like, you know, they're honest and straightforward. And, you know, uh, they have a really good heart. They care about people. And they care about you. But it's just, for some reason, difficult to have a stable relationship with them. So for whatever that might, whatever reason that might be, it could be circumstantial. It could be geographical even. And this is a, a person that you have kind of like, dropped away from your life that have dropped away from your life but for this month I feel like there's going to be news communication and things like that where they are coming back okay the ten of wands usually indicates a situation where we drop a burden something proved to be too difficult and too hard to maintain and we don't really feel like we can be in it anymore so I feel like some of you have already um, have this uh, fire sign that's in your past and uh, they're trying to come back in they see you starting to date they see you starting to branch out and they're trying to get back into that dating picture with you you have another person that you're thinking about and you especially have your eyes on somebody else and so moving forward into the future position we have here the Queen of Swords, and this could be the new person that you've got your eyes on. The Queen of Swords is an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, linked up with the Nine of Cups. And I feel like if you have an air sign in your periphery and you're just like, I wonder if that person likes me. And the answer here is yes. The Nine of Cups is a wish card, and I feel like feelings are definitely being reciprocated here. And if you are single, I feel like you have this person coming in for you. The um, communication is going to flow really well between the two of you because air signs are great communicators. Air signs are also very deep thinkers. The emotional connection might be lacking a little bit, so give it a little bit more time. And I feel like this is somebody that's going to make their feelings known to you. Um, but they're not like, you know, mushy about emotional and verbal expressions. Um, I feel like 
the beginning of the relationship can be very, very platonic. It might take a really long time for the emotion, um, for the emotional depth to develop. But this, I feel, is a can be a very good match for you. Okay. I want to say as well, I'm sensing that for a lot of you, if you have been dating and you're just like, I'm not really sure if I can take a relationship to the next level, somebody is going to want to take a relationship to the next level with you. So they might be like, hey, let's date each other exclusively. Okay. I'm also feeling as well. I'm also feeling as well, even if you're in a relationship, there's going to be a lot of attraction this month. If you are in a relationship, there will be offers. People know you're in a relationship and they're still going for you. So maintaining your distance, okay? It's kind of like, this is like barricading yourself, making, creating that, that, that bubble around yourself and just be like, I like you, but as a friend. So I feel a lot of you are going to be doing that. I like you, but let's just stay friends because you might be in a relationship and people are just, you know, um, flirting with you left and right, even though they know you're in a relationship. So I feel like you're going to need to cut some people out. You're going to need to draw very clear boundaries with people so that they understand that you're not looking for an extramarital affair, that you're not looking for a mister or a mistress, or you're not looking to step outside of your relationship. So you have options here. You have, you know, I don't feel like you are tempted by them, but they're definitely trying to tempt you. So just be very clear about your expectations. There is even uh, workplace romances that are happening or a flirtation in the work front that's happening for you. So you've got some strong, <laughs> you, you've got some type A people coming into the picture wanting to pursue you, okay? Singles, definitely get out and date. You have a very strong air sign coming through. And I feel like this person is really good, okay? I feel like they're honest and they're they're very exciting. They're very interesting. And I, I feel like they're just incredibly intelligent. And you're going to have great conversations, okay? Um, I wish you all the best. I'm really happy to see this for you um, playing out in your love life.